Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have a simple little equation with some mixed operations. We've got uh, multiplication and division uh, here in this equation is 3 times 5 divided by 10 times 3. All right, so if you'd like to work this one out by yourself, uh, feel free to pause the video right now and uh, we can come back and uh, work on trying to solve this one together. All right, this one's pretty basic. Um, you got to remember to follow the order of operations convention. Uh, we do not have parentheses. We don't have exponents. Um, uh, if you're from the UK, you may be looking at uh, brackets and orders or powers of. Uh, we don't have any of those, but we do have multiplication and we do have division. And if you remember, in the order of operations convention, multiplication and division have equal precedence. You just solve them left to right as you see them. So here in this case, we have multiplication first, right? So it's 3 times 5 is 15. And then here we've got, then we do the division. So uh, it's 15 divided by 10. 15 divided by 10 is 1.5. Then we're just left with the final multiplication, 1.5 times 3 equals 4.5. So the answer is 4.5. Uh, and you can double check this on a scientific calculator. Uh, you'll get 4.5 as your answer. Um, this is on a Windows computer. Uh, if you use the standard mode, uh, you probably won't get the right answer because um, that calculator uses immediate execution mode. Um, it's not using memory functions to be able to keep track of operations. So if you do use a standard mode calculator, you would have to use it like people used to use old calculators that didn't have memory uh, or didn't have a stack to, to, to process multiple operations. And you'd have to use memory functions. So if you're familiar with memory functions and calculators, you would have to use that. It, of course, you would have to understand the order of operations uh, to use that. Um, so here as a scientific calculator, you could also use a cell phone, Android phone, iPhone. Uh, those scientific calculators are built in and they do understand order of operations. So this is the correct answer. I uh, just wanted to point that out with the calculator. So I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, please consider like, sharing, subscribing, and uh, we'll try to keep up with uh, some more of these problems and some a few other things, a few other math topics. But uh, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.